previously. Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. When we last left off we were constructing a thing over here and we can go check that out now because it's now finished and completed. It's a little bit different to what I imagined. Now I didn't do the full double area like I said I was going to. I just did the one area here. We can open it up on the map. And this is what we got. Which isn't too bad. Now, there was an issue. And it's not a difficult issue to fix. But I had to use two levers and separate... In fact, I really should have brought some kind of uh, wiring thing so I can show you a little bit better. That will do. So, as we fly over... You can see that I had to make a break at one point. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's the same old, same old with all the actuators and stuff. But I have two levers with wires. And as we go up, you'll see there's a break point right here where I separate it across the two levers. Because halfway along this line here, now halfway along this line here, um, it just stopped working. Uh, there's probably some kind of limit, I guess, on actuator effects, maybe. There's definitely not a limit on how far wires can go, though. Well, maybe there is. Maybe it's just huge. Because it's a lot of looping backwards and forth. Because there is no one on this side. So we'd have to loop. Mm. I don't know. I've wished. This is what it is. And... It works, out, works rather well. We do have mushrooms growing on it, which is a little bit annoying. But in general, we pull the, both the levers, both of these deactivate, and then what we get is grasshoppers falling down, and then during rain, it will be worms. So we turn these off. Lots of mushrooms. Lots of grasshoppers. Some, there's a worm there. And a worm there. So with that we got uh, 14 mushrooms, 2 worms and 5 grasshoppers. And we can just do this as many times as we want. Basically, so that should all be fine. Look, we'll flip one on. And you'll see that once we get to a line here, look, uh, it's solid. So we do need to do both of these. How often do we have to wait between them? Uh, I guess just until grass grows back. Right, let's go home. Let's put away this stuff. I probably need some kind of like better mushroom storage. I think I may be storing mushrooms in my restaurant. I have some over here for stew, but otherwise uh, it's all going to the restaurant. Right, let's oh. Oh. let's go and talk to Ivan. What? Would you like today, my friend? What is that? Infected scabbard fish. That looks cool. A really long fish that looks like a sword's sheath swims in the murky waters of the corruption. It looks like Ebonstone, so lit for you. That's right, you're catching it. Yep. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just do the exact same thing we did last time. So pink, pink, pink. And then fishing rod. And then once we get over there, we can change our. Oh, hang on. That squirrel's so lucky, I'm going to let it live. That it lived. Nothing into what happened. I forgot bait. I did indeed forget bait. Uh, why not? I regret taking my armor off so soon because it slows me down. Dragon armor does give me a natural... Movement increase. And going in this direction is not the easiest. Not the quickest thing. We don't have a minecart over here. Like we do to the other edges of the world. And this is quite a ways to go. Right, get our teleporte out. We're always going to take damage going for that because it's a double teleport in quick succession. Doesn't matter. As long as we, I guess, take to the skies. Just fly, I guess. It'll be quicker than running. Since we don't have our speed bonuses. Actually, I don't know if our speed bonuses apply to our flight. I'll have to do some tests, actually. Whether uh, we can just... Ooh, whether we can hit natural max speed 
on flight as is, or if we do need to have our any speed enhancements to increase the speed of the flight. I don't know. We'll test it out at some point. Ah, uh, so. As it stands, I think we may be able to catch a Zephyr fish. Because we're doing pretty good in terms of the old fishing power. The, there's only one thing left accessory-wise that the angler can give us that would increase our ability to fish. And that is the high test fishing line. And again, that doesn't make us better at fishing. It just means our line won't break. Sorry, Turtle, but it's not happening today. Uh, so the only other thing... Is that in the water? It is. The only other thing that we can get to increase our fishing power is a new fishing rod. And I've seen you guys tell me this a lot, like, why am I using the mechanics fishing rod? Why am I not using the sitting ducks fishing rod? Or why am I not using the golden fishing rod or the hotline fishing rod? And the answer is very simple. I don't have those. The travelling merchant has never sold me the... Uh, sitting ducks fishing rod and the angler has never given me the hotline fishing rod or the golden fishing rod so until we get those we're stuck with this this is the best I have uh, we should probably catch another one We've got some time catch as many as possible now you guys actually told me I can have more than one fish in my inventory at once which I thought I couldn't Right, let's see if I can pick up another one. No, you can't look. You can't pick it up. You guys, get your act together. Stop lying to me. Where's my crate? Where is it? I mean, my crate, my chest, my safe, whatever it's called. Surely I can put this down somewhere. Right, so I can put it in there. Then I can click that. Yeah, that's what that's what I've always done. Is just, you know, put the one in the safe. But you guys are telling me um, I can have them in my inventory at the same time. Which I knew is a lie. Why would you lie to me, guys? Why would you lie to me? Uh, put my better armor back on. No, I'm going to need the fishing rod. We're not going to go for the Zephyr fish today. No, sorry. Can we? No, we can do that. Maybe that's what you guys were telling me. Throw that away. Uh, we'll just hold on to the frog for now. And then we'll go see Ivan. You know what? Maybe we'll get that fishing rod. Maybe we'll get the high test fishing line. More likely, we'll just get some crap. Sonar potion, silver. Yeah, it's just crap. Just crap. Look at all this stuff we got. We need to get rid of some of these cap and tuna beers, man. We've got way too many. I appreciate the fact that he basically gave me what I spent. Sonar potion and fishing. Um, pa uh, bait. Apprentice bait. Right. That away. And we're essentially done, I guess. I mean, we're not going to the episode. There's always stuff to be doing. In terms of our regular stuff, that's done. And I've shut off this. I thought the angler had a bright blue eyeball then. It's the antenna on our robot. Yes, I'm liking that. Uh, I don't like how it looks near the bottom of it. But I don't want to bring it down any further because... Well, I guess I could, but I'd have to destroy some of the stuff underneath. But whatever, it, it's it's fine. Maybe I'll fix it later. No, because then they'll move the levers. I don't know. It's, it's... But I'm not happy with that. I like it. That's going to be a good supply of bait. Bait that we will never really need. I'm honest. No plantera bulb. That is actually... Actually surprising. So the only choice for us then is to go over to the jungle again. Which is unfortunate because, again, it's another long walk. Another long walk. Or fly, or run, or sprint, or however we travel. So for those of you who were asking me as well, why does our... Why does that farm even work if... Uh, the spaceship has stopped machines from working. Well, it's actuators, isn't it? Actuators are simple machines. It's an on. It's just an on-off state. Nothing too difficult about it. That's why our doors work on our base. But the more advanced machinery, like traps and uh, our arena, 
and teleporters, our home defense, stuff like that just doesn't work because it's more advanced. Oh, look at those cool mushrooms. Oh. I was looking at those on the left. Alright. Almost. Hey. Almost there. How many Planteras am I going to fight? Not many. Not many. Enough. Maybe. But I remember last time we did a big old clear out. So hopefully uh, we've got a nice respawn rate on them. It's a shame that they haven't respawned in my actual spawner area though. What is that? I've never seen those spooky trees in the background before. Because it's a beach. It only like, appears on the final couple of tiles here. So no wonder I've never seen it before, because I never would just stand here, would I? I would usually run in. That's cool. Uh, what am I doing? Map. Let's try and find ourselves. Plant oh, there's one right down here. Beautiful. I love it when there's one on our doorstep. I really do. I know I've skipped over a life route. Don't, don't really care. Go away. Go away. Right. So, oh, we never even put our fishing stuff on, did we, to help us with our fishing? Clearly, clearly we did not need it. So, uh, when are we going to go catch us a fish? Honestly, I think I'm waiting for a better fishing rod. Even if it's just the one traveling merchant sells. Which again is only, I believe, a 5% increase of uh, how good our current one is. Even if it's only that one, uh, I'd probably wait for that. Rather than hope for the random drop of having a good one from the angler, because obviously the angler does not like giving us anything at all of usefulness. I thought that was another plant arrow then. Just like spawned in out of nowhere. Right, let's look in front of a bulb. Let's look. Right, there's one there, which is just across. I say just across. It's across in a bit of a mess around, but hey. Ooh, I do want to test something out when I say test. Oh, there's one in there, look. One even closer. There's something I want to test out when we get home. And it's not really a test, it's more of a... Well, I guess it is a test. But I'm pretty sure we've tried it and it didn't work. But... I mean... If I don't remember, I should always do it again, just in case. Right, next Plantera, put those on. I'm already Plantera. Even if it is mighty dark. Pantera? Alright, alright. Come over here where I can see you a bit better. Come into the light. No. Pantera, please. This way. Over here. Look, it's, 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 there are torches here. I can see. I can see what's going on. Alright, Pantera's nearly dead. Are we going to get what we want? We've got a lot of stuff, but none of it is what we wanted. Why would I put the frog up there? Why would I do that? Frog can go down here. Right, uh, health is actually looking really good. Let's put those on. So yeah, there was another one over here. Just have to go on a little bit of adventure to get to it. In fact, I've already forgotten where it was. Where was it? We haven't gone past it, have we? That wasn't the one. No, I definitely saw one over here. There it is, it's right. Uh, in there, up around that. Oh man, this is the right nightmare to get to. So it's in here. Don't rest, because that would reset our spawn point, which we don't want. It's like up and around and then down. I mean the around. Yeah, this is like the around section where it's dark and no one can see a damned thing. And then it's across here. 
Oh, we see it. That's all we needed to do was to see it. We are in. Right, that's the boy. Okay, Plantera, again. Let's do this. It's about time to end the episode, but you know what? I'll, I'll extend it out a little bit. Doesn't feel like we've done that much. A lot of our time was actually travel time. Coming to this area. Should we just sit? I get bored. Wandering around. No point doing all these invasive techniques when you don't have to. All we gotta do is just make sure we do clever things like heal if we're gonna die. Which we didn't, but uh, we didn't get what we wanted, so. It doesn't matter. Just the one drop there. Sucks. Right. Let's take a look. Any more planteras before I come off? Probably look in the vicinity around it. Oh, there's one directly below us. I guess we just dig there. Titanium and chlorophyte. Lovely. Should be very careful about this water. So I'm going to flood it all in there instead. I just don't want water flooding around and then, um, you know, washing off torches and stuff. How do I get down far enough? So it was... Hey, it's just below us. Cool. Hey, we're there already. It's a moth. Get out of here, moth. Oh, that's time for your stuff, moth. Do that. Put on... Put on that. I guess we're good to go. I can throw stuff away like that and that. That, that, that. Pantera, I see you. There we go. Take my bum out of the water. That way I can fly a little bit better. In fact, I don't really need to fly, do I? I mean, I've proved that I can just tank this and just heal if I need to. Even if things go you know, extraordinarily bad. But it feels like such a waste. Such a waste of good HP. Pink. Wasp gun and a pygmy staff. More useless tat and crap. Anyone else? Anybody else nearby? It's got to be. Oh, there's one in our spawning area. I guess we go get that one then. What is it down here? Ooh. Get my wings back on. Make sure I can actually fly. HP. I'll take that HP. Oh, let me down that. There we go. All right, so tomorrow is going to be the next episode of End Days. I'm really excited to record that. So I'm going to record it tomorrow. Uh, I wish I really wish I could record it earlier than what I do. Because it uh, it takes a long, 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 long time to actually edit. And the fact that I have to record it on the day that it goes out just means... Uh, my Saturdays are filled with just working on that one... Just that one video. Bink! Whereas, if I could record it right now, I would love to. And so I record it now, start editing it now, editing it now. Maybe, you know, finish editing it tomorrow. Then I get it to come out nice and early, but... You may notice the last couple of End Days episodes came out rather late. Uh, the last one I did, I think, came out about midnight. And one before that came out, I think, maybe 9 or 10 on the evening. But I start these, like, super early on in the day. It just, they're just time sinks. It's a long time to put into them. But it, it's worth it. I like the end product. I really do. If anything, I wish I could do more to make them look good. But I just know it's going to uh, make the episode go out particularly late. Uh, again, we didn't get what we wanted. We've got another wasp gun, it looks like. Hey. Stupid moth. Right. One more, I think, and then we'll call it for the day. There's one down below us. Okay. We'll go grab that one. Make sure we can fly. 
Don't want to fall to my death again. Did you do that twice recently? Or just the once? Right, was it directly sideways from where we are? It was like... No, it was like directly down from where we were. So it's... Oh, come on, Bryn. You can find this thing. It was here somewhere. There. Right, okay. Down and then just across the past the lava. Yeah, so it's... can't see. So it should be just about... There it is. Oh, what an awkward place for you to position yourself, Plantera. Ooh, sapphires. What an awkward, horrible place. Put that on, we throw that away, we throw that away. I guess we can also throw that away and uh, those. Just trying to get some nice space so if we do get a drop, we can see what ends up being dropped. Right, we are good to go. Got anywhere good to stand? I guess this will be alright. Looks like there's a big patch of. Um, Whatever it's called up here. Chlorophyte. Yeah, it's a big old patch of chlorophyte just up here if we ever wanted to mine it. And I might as well grab it while I'm here. I think... I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but I might be right. Uh, chlorophyte, there can only be so much in a certain area, right? So if you get a big patch of it, it's best to mine it up. That way it can start spreading. Otherwise, it just won't spread. Uh, we've got a Venus Magnum. Wings back on. This is the longest episode I've done in a while. Right. Should I find one more plantera bulb? If I see one close by, then I will go for it. Is that one? I don't know if that was one. Oh, there's one literally just there. Uh, drop down and walk across. So it should be... Like here somewhere? There it is! Perfect! Alright, this is definitely the last one. We've fought too many Planteras. Look at all the torches we've got, we can still barely see. Oh, looks like Plantera might be coming in from the right. Nope, never mind, I was wrong. I was so wrong. Oh, we've got a honey. Hey, we fought one here before. I remember. Where are they? Are it's like I'm sure you should be showing up anytime soon, but I would just stand and tank it. it. Shouldn't be an issue for us at this stage. I really do love my horseman's blade. I I love seeing the pumpkins flying in out of nowhere. Ah, oh, no, we're going to have Nettle Burst. Sadly, that's seven more Planteras looking, just still nothing. Our luck is just ridiculously bad. I'll tell you what, before we um, end the episode, let's go grab some stuff from our bait farm. Because I think it, it, it should come back Rather quickly. Yeah, I mean, look at all this stuff. Not bad for considering we're away for 10 minutes. Uh, five more of those. We got three more worms. Got some mushrooms. Right, well, I'm going to put this stuff away and sell it and whatnot. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of End Days. And then back again on this on Monday, where I have another, not exactly a let's build, but a similar uh, build thing to what we did here. You know what I mean? So we'll get on with that. For now, though, thank you for watching. Goodbye.